Good morning, folks. Look at that sunshine. Feels so good. four miles to go before I get into Irwin this morning um, for Nero. Um, it's so cold out here. It got down to like 32 and I went in and packed up and it's, it's just cold. Just so my fingers are frozen and my feet are frozen. Um, I'm tired too, man. I need some real food. I mean, I can tell. I mean, even without real food. I mean, I've been eating food. But, you know, none of it's real food. I ate a mountain house last night for the first time. I ate the lasagna. I mean, it was good. I added some, some adobo seasoning and some garlic salt. I mean, it was good. But it went straight through me. I got up this morning and it was like, oh, God. Um, my body. You know, I haven't been biting my nails since I've been out here. And they haven't even grown. So, I mean, that tells me that I'm lacking nutrients and vitamins and stuff. I mean, I've been finding calories to add, junk food, darn Rice Krispie treats, you know. So my body needs some real food. Like it needs some meat. So, I hope there's somewhere in Irwin. I know there's a Bojangles. I'm going to get me some fried chicken. So. Be nice to find somewhere with a salad. I got to eat a good salad. With some fried chicken. I'm going to have to find me a combination spot. That's what I want. This is real food. My body needs it. Oh, pumped out 17 yesterday. Um, 12 the day before. Starting it at 12. 12 20, something like that. So, then I've been pumping out the miles. But. I'm just tired this morning. Um, it could be just too because my body knows it's going into town. But usually when I'm going into town, I know like I got food or beer waiting on me. I'm wide open. And trust me, I was up early. But I was awake. Bird Nook came by. He stayed at the shelter last night. And he came by. It was a little after like 6.30. He said he couldn't sleep, so he decided he'd come on, go on and get up and walk into town. Man, I gotta walk down there. Ooh, good hooks. Good hooks said it was straight down, and the trail detector determined he was telling the truth. <laughs> finally, 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 the hook told the truth about something. <laughs> You know, it's like tapeworm that day. Tapeworm said, <laughs> oh, it's not going to rain anymore today. And our son's going to come out. You know how I know? He said, wow, tapeworm. He said, because do you hear the birds? The birds are chirping. That means it's not going to rain today. The trail detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> oh. Telling you, tapeworm. Hey. If it's a trek or outdoor magazine backpack or somebody don't hire you, 
Man, you should be a weatherman. <laughs> you got about the same percentage as they do. <laughs> Oh. oh, look, now I got to go back up here. <laughs> That's okay, though. I'm tired. Can't wait to get in here. I just want to take a bath. I feel so nasty. I want to put on clean clothes. But I just want you guys to know something, man. Deodorant is your friend out here. <laughs> like, if you ain't got no friend on the trail, uh, uh, a travel size container of degree is your friend. <laughs> oh, have you yet to smell like an old drunk? And and I did last time with no deodorant. I was like, oh, I mean, I couldn't take it. It was bad. The men, the mental game on that part was just rough. But I hadn't had this this time. Of course it ain't. I mean, it's fuck. Excuse my language. Um, it's cold, man. It's just cold out here too. <sighs> like, you know, when they tell you, <laughs> you hear people on Facebook, they'll be like, oh, I started in in February and I finished. You know, and then somebody says, but would you do it over again? No, if I had to do it over again, I'd definitely start on May 1st, um, um, April 1st. You know, I had one guy say March 15th. <laughs> but I'm telling you, man, if you don't like the cold, do not start in February. Because it is April 2nd. And you guys, I it don't get this cold in Florida all year. <laughs> I've been in Florida for two years now, and it ain't got this cold yet. <laughs> I mean, the mountains don't know what spring is, do you, boys? I mean, it's like Alaska, you know, where they get like two months of spring, man. That's right. That's what I feel like is going on here. And my eyes are so crusty from me sleeping down here. Let me show y'all what I look like this morning. Look. <laughs> I ain't even looked at myself, but I knew it was rough because my I knew could tell my eyes were swollen. God, look at me. Now, don't I look real? Don't I look bad? I mean, like, <laughs> like, I, my face and everything look like I could beg for money right now. <laughs> I bet I could stand on the street corner and be like, and people would just put dollars <laughs> in my bucket. <laughs> you know, one time I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually do that. Um, I, out of just pure curiosity of how much money. I would make that day, and then I'm gonna give it to somebody. But we're gonna do that, okay? So, like, when this is done, I'm gonna make a sign, make it try to sound as pitiful sign as I can, and I'm gonna put on some pitiful looking clothes. And I'm gonna go stand on the street corner, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna see just how much money I can make that day, and then we're gonna go give it to something. I'm gonna give it to some charity that needs it because you know I don't need it I mean I can always use it trust me could definitely use it VA yeah, disability ain't much but you know I'm not starving clearly I mean for God's sakes I got folders I got folders in a Mountain Dew bottle <laughs> I probably could stand out there with just what I have all I bet I could go out there just like this look at how pitiful you know, with, <laughs> with like a thousand dollars worth of clothes on, <laughs> cover thousand on my back. You know what I mean? Three hundred dollar GPS coordinator. You know, I could stand out there and just be like, oh. And I bet people would give me money look like this. <sighs> so I tell you what, you guys, you guys put in the in the comments like the charity that I should give my money to that I get off side street. And we're going to do an experiment and see just how much money somebody standing on the side of the street makes. I'm so curious. <laughs> and then we'll all understand why these people are on the side of the street. But I can't, I make like, I make like $300. I'm like, my God, <laughs> they would no taxes. What the? <laughs> so yeah, um, 
<laughs> we're gonna do that so y'all put in the comments down below what charity y'all feel like i should give my money to you know i would prefer it to be an lgbtq or veteran or you know like missing and in, missing and murder all right guys um so i'm at the super eight here in the early took a shower look what i found in the box found me some shades Ooh, been needing some shades, man. I, I had a pair when my wife dropped me off, and, and I think they just fell off my head somewhere when I was coming up one of those mounts. So, find me another pair. Check them out, boy. These are Tigger inspired. You know, she likes those colored lenses. Um, somebody said that they're nice shades. I don't know the name of them. But, hey, the trail provides. Um, about to walk in, resupply, did laundry. Wash myself. God, I feel so much better. I feel like a human again, you know? Um, about to go re get some resupply and come back and just do videos. Um, it's my first time being by myself. Really. Spending the night by myself since I've been on trail. So, just gonna focus on making some videos. Watch my Duke Carolina game. The rest. My legs are stiff today. I guess because I'm not doing that much. Gotta walk up walk up in here to town. Bojangles is across the street, so you know I've been wanting some fried chicken. Craving that fried chicken. So that's what I'm about to go get. Then we'll come back. I'm gonna come back and relax, folks. Of course there's a tap room, so I might go get me a beer first. You know. You know how I do it. Check out the Harley. He's chilling. So if you go to Irwin, Super 8 got a uh, nice hiker rate. Um, you know, and that's kind of cool when they give you that nice little hiker rate. Got a car coming. Got to watch for cars, folks. Because, you know, you all up in interstate. This is interstate territory. I think I'm in, yeah, I'm in Tennessee. <laughs> I was not about to say, I'm not even sure where I'm at. Yeah, I'm in Tennessee. Irwin is Tennessee. <laughs> it's warm out here. And I'm walking around. And I realize, y'all, I don't match. I don't match at all. Look. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, I got a green shirt. Some blue pants. Look, it is a blue shirt under these. Like six colors of blue. I ain't matching. Holly, I ain't matching. Don't be mad. <laughs> Well, I'm back from a resupply here. Since I'm only going to be out for two days till I fly home. But guess what, guys? I came in. I was craving fried chicken and a salad. Remember, I told you guys I had fried chicken and a salad yesterday. Got me fried chicken, salad. Got me three local beers. Um, I don't know if they local anyway, but they some I haven't tried. So I'm going to try those. So I got me a flight. Look at that. Flight right there. Double flight, $10.99. Got my salad, got my chicken, got me some condiments, got me some, uh, I'm gonna try these mashed potatoes with some gravy, a um, couple of chicken sticks. Look at that, breakfast. Gotta have the egg and waffles. Got, got to. Got me some nuggets, got me some pastrami. And guess what? Got me some pastrami and a sandwich to pack out. Boom. And guess what? Probably I got all this for what I would spend in the tap room. So, no tap room for me. Got everything I need right here to have a perfect day in-house. And that is how you do a Nero. Alright guys, I'm about to chill. Uh, do some videos for you guys. And, uh, hmm. God, I'm about to tear that up right there. <laughs>